Hey guys, what's up? Lumpy Ice Cream back again. First video of 2021. A little less active in the past year than I would have liked to be. Um, that's just down to some technical issues, both with my previous laptop and this new one. But it appears we're good to go. Uh, things are sorted. This year, I'm going to be coming out hard and fast with some content. Uh, and it's going to be WWE-centric. Now, here and there, I will try to do some other things just in case. I know there's some people who might watch my videos. I'm kidding. No one watches these videos. But nevertheless, um, that don't like WWE. So I'm going to try and make some content here and there, whatever that may be. But for the foreseeable future content that I will be making for the channel will be WWE-centric. Um, now it's an idea that I've wanted to do for a while. I've been wanting to go back and check out some older pay-per-views, um, watch some older matches on the network, because here in Australia we still have the WWE Network and not none of this peacock bullshit. But starting on the 2nd of May, so today I'm filming this on the 28th of April, so in a few days' time, we will be kicking off pay-per-view uh, reviews. Now, the way I'm going to be doing this is in the build-up to each current pay-per-view, I'll be reviewing the older pay-per-view of the same name. So we've got WrestleMania Backlash coming up next month, starting on the 2nd of May and every single day after. So every day there'll be a new review coming to the channel. I'm going to be sitting down, I'll watch a pay-per-view, write down my matches, what's on there, review them, probably rank the matches on the pay-per-view. So, yeah, first Backlash 1999 coming up on the 2nd of May, then 2000, 2001, so on and so forth. And then after we've watched WrestleMania Backlash, a video will come out the next day where I rank each Backlash. Now, the special pay-per-views, so WrestleMania, that's that's where the end goal is going. That's where we're heading to, guys. Next year's WrestleMania, we're going to watch every single WrestleMania, review them. So there's going to be some overlap, where some days you might get two videos, depending on how long the pay-per-view's been running. So mainly the big four. But for special pay-per-views, you'll be getting an extra bonus video, where I rank, say, oh, let's say, Royal Rumble matches the winners of the Royal Rumble match, or, or things like that. That's not an example, but I'm giving the best. Well, that's not something I'm going to do, but that's an example of what you can do. I want to put this video out explaining what the direction of the channel for the next year is going to be. So we're going to be doing, um, well, technically, yeah, some vintage WWE pay-per-views, but also modern ones as well. Um, Yeah, I just wanted to try my hand at this. Uh, I know that my, uh, the channel sort of ducks in and out. It wavers, right? Sometimes there's, uh, a lot of videos on the channel, sometimes there's not. More often not. So, I wanted to try my hand at just pumping out content. And next year, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so yeah, uh, in the build-up to pay views, expect daily videos reviewing old pay-per-views, I'm going to be putting in some effort, because I really want to make content, really want to get this channel up and off the ground. I missed out last year, sadly, on making a lot of content during the pandemic era, which, um, you know, it's a terrible, terrible time um, that everyone's going through this past year, but um, one thing that's excelled is content creation, you know, um, with everyone locked up. You know, content creation is key, and um, sadly, I missed out on that window. Um, but hey, stuff happens. So this next year, we're going to be pumping out content. Um, so starting May the second, Australian time, of course. So like May first for most people, but May second, we will be pumping out pay-per-view reviews daily 
until we get to the small break, which I might try to squeeze some more content in. I don't know. This is this WWE stuff is taking most of the focus of this channel for the foreseeable future with some other stuff probably squeezed in between when I can fit it. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I hope to see you all on May the 2nd, tuning in for Backlash 1999 review. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you then. Ta-da.